segments, we talked about the ankles and the knee joints and how they should be stable. Now we're going to look at the muscles and the muscle imbalances of the lower leg. So when we look at the lower leg joint, a lot of times we do calf raises as a strengthening. That strengthens the back muscles called the gastroc and the soleus. What we also have to watch for is that we're strengthening through the front. The muscle in the front of the foot is called the tibialis anterior. We can easily strengthen that part of the lower leg by doing toe ups. We can wrap elastics around the bottom of our toes and pull up. That's going to help stabilize here. Weakness is in these areas, whether it's the back of the leg or the front of the leg. We might find common injuries from those weaknesses as shin splints. Shin splints is that common pain that people get in through the front of the shins. It can also be caused by tightness through the calf muscles. So if we're going to be strengthening through the back of the calf, we also want to be stretching through the back of the calf. Nice gastroc stretch, calf stretch, and we want to be strengthening through the front of the shin. Also, you want to watch how those ankles are tracking as we go up onto the toes and that means that we have to watch that we're using those outer muscles on the sides of the lower leg as we come up to keep the ankle joint tracking forward.